Um, I mean, something I said to my younger my younger self is like, man, you should have got into entertainment earlier. That's what I just, you should have got into entertainment earlier. I should have got into entertainment when I was a teenager compared to get into it when I was like 23. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in my 20s or whatever. You know, like that's that's the only thing I would say. So you should have you started earlier. Um, I didn't start in the, you know, the entertainment industry when I was a teenager because it didn't seem like an option. That wasn't my goal. That wasn't my, like, oh, you know, people grow up and like, I'm always going to be a rapper and niggas got pictures of their daddy playing a drum machine for them. Like, I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have nobody telling me ever that you can be anything. I don't think anybody's ever told me that you could be anything growing up. Right, and so everything that I am, I had to tell myself, or I had to show myself that, oh, you could do this, because nobody ever told me that, oh, you could be this, or you could be that, or so. Um, do if I had something that I could say to myself, it's like you could be a great entertainer, kid. Focus on some stuff. My drive comes from just the immigrant energy. When you immigrant, I was born in Trinidad. You know, so, you know, being an immigrant, whether you're Mexican, whatever, you know what I'm saying? The immigrant energy is that you got to figure it out. Don't nobody give a fuck about you. Don't nobody care. Like, when you're an immigrant, they treat you like shit. I've seen it with my own eyes. I experienced it with my own 10 toes, 10 fingers, okay? Um, immigrants get treated horrible. People don't respect people. Um, it is what it is. This world is full of a lot of classism. And if you're an immigrant, you are literally at the bottom of that totem pole. And the way that people react, even people who are not that much more better off than you, they still treat you like they're Trump or some shit. You know what I'm saying? And that is, uh, that is the energy that I've used my entire life going into anything that I do where it's like, I can't do this for them for two reasons. One, they didn't make me. They're not paying me. They don't give a fuck about me. And secondly, it's on me. It's my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I if I allowed the doubt to you know to stop me from I don't know trying shit, then we wouldn't be here right now. But it was like I said for me it's a little bit different because it wasn't nobody doubting. You can't doubt me because you didn't know what I do you know so i just use the experiences of life like losing a job or can't get a job for so long not because i wasn't capable of doing them but just because oh, i didn't have a a piece of paper showing that i should be a citizen or some some wild shit like that you know what i'm saying like somebody else getting a job that is american is amazing but they suck at the job you know what i'm saying it's like those type of things never make sense to me why do you hire less qualified people because of paperwork that says that they're qualified hired a qualified person to do the job.